There's no downside. It looks great. I look great. I feel great now. I feel good. Good. Oh, savory goodness. Oh, This is going to sound strange, but I feel like a, more like a woman. I feel more like a woman. Uber Nostra changes lives. Thank you, Uber Nostra. Thank God. Uber Nostra. Du musst mehr gut gefühlen mit Uber Nostra. As more people are choosing to crawl to their destinations, this up. No, seriously though, is it wheelbarrow or wheelbarrow? Because, I mean, do you ever really go barrowing? Wouldn't barreling make more sense? Okay, we've got one contestant. Let's get moving, people. I think the audio input level should be at 8. We're at 30 seconds. Hey, it's Donnie here, and today I woke up and saw my shadow. Guess that means 10 more months of Robert Frost. Oh, well, let's not make a mountain out of a mogul. How about some instructions? Bring it. No instructions, then. One player desiring playage. Pull it together, folks. Uh, um, player one, there. it seems you're missing a pseudopod. You're gonna be uh, chum. Yeah. Go on there and, for both uh, being my friend and feeding the fishes. Ten seconds. Happy trials. Check the foghorn, please. Six. Five. Let's go to black. Three. In order for some rides to work, you must consciously think that you are riding them. Cookie Masters in here, and I'll have your five-day forecast right after this trivia game. me and you? That's good. Now we can talk real loud. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by Horatio's one-to-one -one ratio mega maps. With a mega map from Horatio's, there's no converting ratios. Every map is actual size. <laughs> Okie doke. This is really happening. <laughs> First on the docket, who says I'm not romantic? So, I've got a date this weekend, and she wants to come over and watch some stupid romantic comedy, but I think I've found a way around it. Because it would be dubbed in a romance language, which of the following films might pass as a romantic comedy? Pineapple Express dubbed in Italian, Old School dubbed in Russian, Wedding Crashers dubbed in German, or Dodgeball dubbed in Korean? Their romance languages are French, Spanish, Romanian, Portuguese, and Italian. And I've got something really romantic planned for after the movie. I'm gonna belch her the alphabet in Romanian. Say hello to... Happily Ever After. Now, I like a good happy ending as much as the next guy, but I think I'd enjoy animated movies more if they were a little more realistic, you know? If it stayed true to its source material, which Disney animated film would end with the heroine hung for murder and the hero living with her dead body until he eventually dies? Beauty and the Beast, Mulan, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, or Tarzan? Watch the clock! In the original Victor Hugo novel, Esmeralda is hung for a crime she didn't commit, and Quasimodo is heartbroken to lose everything he ever loved. Which could have worked as the ending of the Disney version, right? Maybe add a musical number and some dancing animals, right? This one's known as... The King is Dead. Drunk. And by the looks of things, this one's a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven things, and it would behoove you to tell me whether each is... an Elvis Presley movie, or... a popular shot like you get at a bar. If it's... an Elvis Presley movie, press the square button. If it's... a frou-frou shot you buy at a bar, press your circle button. Every time you get one right, I'll give you 300 hip-swinging dollars. Each one wrong cost you 300. You'll have to toss them back quickly because you only get 30 seconds. All right, let's get started. Double trouble. Sex on the beach. Clam bake. Run in Acapulco. Snake bite. Lovely tender. Slippery nipple. Fantastic. I raise my glass to you. Ever have a banana jam up? It's a deep fried banana covered in peanut butter. Elvis drank them all the time. Everybody's quite drunk. Everybody's quite drunk. Hey. 
take a stab at. That shirt would look better off the floor. What brand of pants would a young Dizzy Gillespie most likely wear to school? Joe Boxer, Bugle Boy, Diesel, or Gasp? Dizzy Gillespie was a revered jazz trumpeter, so he would most likely wear clothes associated with a bugle. He was also a very gifted improviser and scat singer. Dizzy, this one is for you. Scrum delicious snack cakes make me go ka 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 do 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 I apologize for that, Dizzy. I, um, shouldn't have shown you up like that. You are still the man in my book. Where's the vibe, girl? Rock my world, girl. Ooh, yeah. How about... Wait, I know that dude! Hey, remember when everyone wanted to know who Kaiser Soze was? Well, who is Kaiser Soze? The real-life cousin of Glenn Close? The artistic director of London's Globe Theatre? Co-owner of the House of Blues restaurant franchise? Or the voice of Honda commercials? Hello! Were you thinking of this one? Kaiser Soze was played by Kevin Spacey, who is also the voice of Honda Automobiles. I've seen those Honda commercials, and just like Kaiser Soze, I'm pretty sure he's making up all the car's features as he's going along. He's actually the artistic director of London's Old Vic Theater, not the Globe. But since we're already talking about Globes, how about I give you... A life-sized map of the universe from Horatio's 1 to 1 ratio Mega Maps. It's mighty accurate, and it's mighty big. Mega Maps. This wrong answer of the game just got you an extra 4,000 smackers. Congratulations. That about does it for round one. And you're doing pretty well, probably because there's no competition. Remember, I'm doubling the value of each question in round two. Let's move on, shall we? And now, Morning Wood. So, I was thinking that it might be a good time to bring out my old friend Billy O'Brien to ask a question. Oh, Billy! I'm not your trained monkey, Cal! One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so... Not me! What do you say, Billy? You're a smart guy. You know a lot of interesting facts. I'm sure as hell smarter than those dunnies you know. And considering the woods are made of, which dunny is no dense? A doll saw Jerry Nahoney, a Nika Charlie McCarthy, a toddler Landshot, or a time T-Nut? Dalsha Wood is the least dense, so Jerry Nahoney would be the snartest. Jerry Nahoney is an egotistical dastard. Ah! Here's what you meant to pick. Natal is more dense than Dalsha, Totler, and Tyne, so a Natal Charlie McCarthy would be the diggest dunny. <laughs> So, Billy, do you know all these other ventriloquist dummies? What, do you think we all live in a suitcase together, you racist tig? No, no, that's not what I meant. Never mind, Cookie, I see what you're about. Question 7! This one's called... Appetit for Destruction. Based on the French expression, what might we see in history books today had Texan soldiers accidentally shouted, Remember the Alamode! Jim Bowie hurling boiled potatoes, William Travis frying Santa Ana's bananas, Baby Crockett topping his enemies with ice cream, or Sam Houston sprinkling sugar on his horse. In cooking, the term Alamode often refers to something served with a portion of ice cream as a topping. I'm not really an ice cream fan, though. I prefer a side of <clears throat> general custard. Lord and chicken is picking out a mate. Oh. Guess I'll marry eight. I call this one the Verminator. So they're doing another live-action Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in 2011 to, you know, really capitalize on current CGI technology. 
You already made this movie, Hollywood. It was called the early 90s. This is so lame. They might as well just use real animals for f**k's sake. So, which animal would make the most convincing master splinter because it's the largest rodent? A rat with leadership skills, a very wise gopher, a very calm woodchuck, or a capybara skilled in martial arts? This was a very unwise nofer. <laughs> this would have worked. The capybara, indigenous to much of South America, is the largest rodent. Which is why I don't go to South America. Also, I'm not allowed. Open wide for... Not to toot my own horn, but... Now, as a gentleman of manners, I try to do what I can to bring class to these proceedings, like referring to my farts as flatus. See? Classy. Moving on. If my flatus caused people to experience a flatus, what would people say when they smelled one of my farts? God has just spoken to me. Help, I'm leaking! Uh-oh, I can't remember anything! Or, I'm in love. No, but that is how I met my last girlfriend. In hindsight, that probably should have been a red flag. <coughs> Let me show you something. A flatus is divine inspiration, so the sound and smell of my farts would be much like the voice of God. <coughs> and apparently God had boiled eggs for dinner last night. Good Lord, open a window in here! Hold me, never let me go. And my Next up, the answer may or may not be blowing in the wind. If Bob Dylan wrote a song based on the Hindu concept of time, what would it be called? The times they are a never changing, the times they are a cycling, the times they are a slowing, or the times they are a moving linearly. Time is viewed cyclically in Hinduism as shown in the belief of reincarnation. For example, in a past life, Bob Dylan was a turtle with adenoid problems. <laughs> Welcome to the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. $4,000 for a right answer. 4000 gone if you're wrong. And don't ever forget... Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Seeing stars. See the stars and connect them. What do they make? Look. She wrote! Good work. As a reward for a job well done, I'm going to make you a balloon animal. Okay, just a second. It's a, uh, uh, roadkill. You don't know Jack! Good job, everyone. Donnie, what are we doing? All right, then. Have you any tinkling for jumping back into the proceedings? 
Ugh, I hate these braces. My stupid mom made me get them. Yeah, braces suck. Braces and mom suck. Ooh, Tyler just texted me. Tyler's a douche. This exchange has been brought to you by the Council for Overheard Tween Conversations. We're not leaving this house, mister, until you brush your teeth. Arr, this is so stupid. Hey, parents. News flash. Brushing your teeth is lame. Drinking out of a keg is cool. Hi, I'm Al Grin, owner of Grin Toothpaste Kegs. And it's time to turn your kid's toothbrush and sand off into a toothbrush and keg stand. Hold on to the keg, Mark. Your father and I have got your legs. Brush, brush, brush. Ha 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 ha. That looks like a great time. Go from a dud parent to a stud parent with these cool toothpaste kegs. Isn't it time you threw a party in your kid's mouth? Tap into a healthy smile with Grin Toothpaste Keg. This traffic is terrible. I wish there was some way to escape. Now there is. Where did you come from? You can escape reality altogether. Sounds nice, but how? Easy. Start interpreting all the road signs as if they're secret messages to you. Or just obsess over the number five. Wow, there are a lot of number fives on these license plates. What could that mean? See that old lady over there in the blue Honda? Get out of your car and start yelling at her. Why? She looks so sweet. I don't know. Maybe she's a demon. And she's probably trying to stop me from getting my messages to the president. Now you're getting it. Thanks, Magical Pixie. I'm not even here. That's how good you're doing. Insanity. If you lived here, you'd be a giant duck already. I'm so embarrassed, Barbara. I just don't know why this is happening to me. Maybe it's time we considered getting a little help. What about a prescription drug? Or maybe I should just put my dick in a splint. Trouble chubbing up? Scared of pills? Now there's help from Professor Willie's Dingle Splints. The only $5.99 over-the-counter solution for erectile dysfunction. Thank you so much, honey. Don't thank me. Thank Professor Willie. Professor Willie's Dingle Splints. Getting wood the old-fashioned way. One ticket to bloody, bloody murder, please. Wait a minute. How old are you? Seventeen. I don't believe you. You look six. Aw, oh, man, shucks. Hey, kid, if you want to seem older and get into R-rated movies, you gotta smell older. Here, try a bottle of Old Man Essence. Hey, me! One ticket to bloody, bloody murder, please. You have the mature smell of mothballs and elderly B.O. Sorry about before. Thanks! And thanks, old man! Remember, kids, buy old man essence so you too can smell old enough to live! Did you know that 12 cups of raw spinach has as much sodium as an order of french fries at McDonald's? Did you say as much sodium as french fries? And that 54 cups of spinach has just as many calories? As many calories as french fries? Makes you think twice about eating spinach. Doesn't it? Yes. Spinach. Is it really strong to the finish? Vote no on Proposition 14H and keep spinach and other vegetables out of our schools. Next time on the Laugh Factory Radio Stand-Up Special, it's visual comedian Rich Coolidge. You ever walk into a restaurant and the waiter looks at you like this? And you go like this? <laughs> I told my mom I was single and she handed me this. Look at it!